Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 32 of my let's play of Amayui Kesselmeister. Last time we saw a few cutscenes and we're going to be seeing a few more before we're done. Let's see, Ranu and Yuki has decided to come down to our shop. I'm sure this is good news. So as Avar was working in his shop, there's this breeze that just blows in. So, Avar was working and Ranrin has to say good work to him. So with that she kind of starts flying around the place. So much so that Avar can't concentrate. Okay, Ranrin. What are you here for? She thought that she would come in here and watch over him so he keeps working hard. That doesn't seem like it to him. Alright, you can watch if you want, but at the very least, move around l less uh, erratically. And don't touch the stuff around here. There's dangerous stuff, and incomplete stuff. Well, if you're talking about dangerous stuff, or do you refer to this? Whom did you plan on using it on? So, what she goes and grabs is a medicine bottle. Navarro recognizes that as the... That fairy medicine stuff from before. He attempted to use it on Fia, but it seemed dangerous, so he called that particular test off. Seriously, every time I see her, she gives me a new reason to slap a bitch. So she's making it sound really naughty what we were trying to do. No. Oh. So, Avaro asks, do you know what this does? You made it and you well. Instead of answering the question, she just asks him to give it to her. Why? Well, it's fine, isn't it? It's not like he's using it. Even so. But, do we give it to her? Or not give it to her? Well, hell, I don't care. I did this in my trial run, so let's give it to her. Alright, it can't be helped. You say give it to her, but immediately, of our has second thoughts. And... decides against it. Give it back. <laughs> you just said... Yeah, I changed my mind. That's not a good reason. Give it back. So, the two of them are fighting over it. This stuff is really dangerous, so... And it slips out of their grip. Falls to the floor. Alright, so, if it, that was dangerous, if it had spilled, that would be a waste. She grabs it off the floor and, and gulps it down, lickety split. What the hell? <laughs> what have you done? Cough it up. Hmm. 
Ah, that's a pretty good feeling. And somehow there's this power coming into her. Huh. Well, he made it as a kind of medicine for spirits and fairies. And so it really had an effect on her. Yay! Five more spell points. That's not bad. Later, thanks for the meal. And she leaves just like she left, came. That medicine actually had an effect? Uh, he's thinking he should have given it to Fia. Hmm. I feel like I'm forgetting. No, that happens later. Ah, uh, healing water thing. So we're going to make one of those, but first I need some of these. Yes? Because I'm going to be making a lot of things. This thing we've been able to make for a long time, but I didn't have the right materials. We get to see a scene with it. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Well, I was planning on making these, and that's why I made the quality stone and quality clay. But apparently, since I made quality stone and quality clay, something earlier up had went and took some of it. Yes. So whatever. I'm not too picky. Yes. Sugida. Anyway. We've got several scenes. So, this is in regard to the purification script. This is one of those things you see in Japanese culture. They're the little strips of paper with the holy writing on them. They're used for charms. Uh, charms and purifications and exorcisms and things. Oh, did I mention they're also blessed by gods? Alright, that one's done. Next. Alright, that's another one. Next. Okay. Hey, do you have to call out like that all the time? Putting your spirit into it is very important. The people who use these scripts are people who are in trouble, who are in dire straits, and people who are down and out and things. So in order to help out these people who need them, she's putting her all into it. And this way of doing it, it seems like the most effective way, right? You, if you just put your magic into it normally, it'd be fine. It's simpler that way, and it'd end quickly. Look, look, it's fine. So, let's get this done by the end of the day. You're fired. Everybody's fired. Get out of my castle. Now, right, next item. This is the heat conductive pipe. With this, we should be able to use heated water. So here in the castle, there is water, but it's not heated. So he was thinking to use the castle's heat in order to heat water. Now, as far as heat goes, he's got heat sources. And with this conductive pipe, he can conduct it to his water sources. In that way, they'll be able to use hot water. 
But while they do have a heat source... Hmm. Oh yes, he did want to make use of the heat that this and that place were producing. It's been hard to find the ingredients and things. And a bit difficult to make, but he thinks it'll turn out well like this. But the problem now is that while they have a heat source, they don't have a really good water source to go with it. They have some water sources, but it's not suitable for this kind of business. So, we want to find another water source. And we get a new map to go in, in the castle. Hmm, the pure water spring. Let's not ask where it actually comes from, this water. I just thought of something really inappropriate. Alright, next! We've got the lifting mechanism completed. And so, with this and some magic power, we'll be able to pull the castle out of that hole it's stuck in. Fia, we're counting on you. <laughs> it takes a long time, but you can tell that the castle is rotating. Oh, anyway. As she continues pouring magic into it, it starts lifting up the sunken foot. Alright, good job. Put a little more power into it, Fia. Keep an eye on it and keep going. Carefully. Do your best, Fia. Do your best, Kami-sama. Goddess. How did you Fia? Put more power Come on, Fia. Put more in. So, the castle starts slowly getting itself upright again. All right, just like that. Yeah, actually, that's a little bit too much vigor. Fia, turn it down a notch. Hey, what's that? Can't hear you. I'm saying slow down. I got it, I just need to put more power in, right? Oh, hey, the way it's leaning is getting a little... Is the goddess working, do, trying too hard here? Well, in that case... Yeah, well, that's pretty impressive. That damn heavy castle can be lifted up that just like that. Alright, they're doing alright, so... Deed and his crew... Have decided to head out. And so that it doesn't cause trouble for Avaro, they're gonna just go get out of their way. Like now. Avaro's ya coming yelling at him. So I was trying to say something. So, if I get through to him, you need to run. Hey, wait, isn't the castle kind of tilting this way a bit? Hey, isn't it falling this way? Oh, jeez, this is bad. Everybody run. Everybody runs. Ah! 
Uh, but the carriage doesn't run. Ah, uh, this is funny. Oh, hey, that guy has a face. <laughs> That's just hilarious. So, the carriage is crushed, and the goods are pretty well wrecked, too. And furthermore, as the castle tries to right itself, it continues a bit of motion down there. Knock it off! And as this second motion comes in, what remains of the Aquatic Beast's vanguard is pretty well snuffed into the ground. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Okay, as much as I enjoy his suffering, let's see why this scene is important. Sorry, sorry, really sorry. Okay, Avaro apologizes too. Since he was doing the directing, it was his fault. And he wants forgiveness here. Yeah, he says it's fine. It's kind of his fault a bit too. When they were going to move the castle, he should have moved first. So, what you own, you need to protect yourself. Whether it's tools, or places, or goods, or life. That's what he taught of our. <laughs> but it's not something he needed to teach Avaro. He knew that from the start. Well, Avaro says he knows what he's talking about. But he still feels uneasy just letting it go. He's telling Navarro not to worry about it. Furthermore, if he did worry about it, it'd actually be... It'd be worse if he did worry about it. Because it would allow Deet to make the same mistakes. Anyway, he's not going to blame others for the fact that he wasn't able to protect his stuff. Are you telling me that if I pulled a dick punch on you and a hit, you'd blame yourself? How dumb is this guy? Uh, anyway. Okay, what are you going to do from now on? Alright, he's going to gather up the wreckage, see if he can't repair his carriage into some kind of usable state. Well, he won't be able to move for a while. But if he can put up with the rain and the dew, eventually he'll his work will come back around. Alright, Avaro has a plan. You can use the castle. Huh? The hell, he doesn't want to borrow your workshop. Not quite. You're going to take part of the castle and fix up your carriage there. If you're there, you don't have to need worry about that rain and dew. And furthermore, it was the castle that broke it, so there's some responsibility here. So, we're helping you out. Hmm. 
I'm not giving you special favors because I've known you for so long. <laughs> and anyway, once you're done, you can leave. We're not going to try and keep you in. All right, he gets it. He's gotten kind of stubborn. Well, this isn't a bad arrangement. His goods that did survive, he'll need a place for, after all. Alright. We'll be hanging out for a while, so... Alright, that's decided. Let's start gathering this up. No, hey, you're getting excited. Hey, you didn't do this on purpose in order to get this outcome, did you? He wouldn't do that. He knows how important his shop, Deet's shop is to him. So, Fia says this is certainly a connection. And since she is the goddess of connections, this is for her. Uh, for her, rather, rather than saying for you, you should probably say because of you. Because you too mu put too much power into that lifter. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry. Hey, don't worry about it. You're a goddess and making connections is what you do. Can't be helped. I've always calling him out here for having a completely different reaction to Fia's apology than to his. Hey, shut the hell up. Let's get to work. Alright, Fia will help out too. Let's get along, Deet. Sure. Still more cutscenes. Oh. Ah, this one. So, Doshua Peak erupted. And one of the effects has been a lot of people getting injured. So, we've been entrusted with at least part of the duties of making medicines, particularly for the healing of scalds and burns. And so we say this, this is our healing water bin. This is a Raul Rosso soldier. And he says thanks, and they have nowhere else to turn. Well, probably everywhere else to turn to making as fast as they can too. So, they are having a bit of a crisis and they need all that they can get, so... People who are troubled, we make stuff for them. Well, these guys are also a bit concerned about whether... Gu Guadalcuna should be their enemy or not. But their need is so great, they're going to set that aside for the moment. Now, about Risu, the Raoroso's ruler, how's she doing? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. Well, he doesn't know all of the details. But Risu and Seiri is dealing with the situation, and 
is keeping it under control for the time being. So, those guys have been worshipping the Lord of Fire, they call him. And did it properly for so long, but he doesn't know why this had to happen now. So he makes his way back to Ral Rosal, kind of avoiding the general public attention. So now we're providing black market medicines. Alright, Deet's in our party now and we have a few more spaces to put whatever we like in. Actually, before setting things down I'd like to check what I can build. Oh. Hmm. This provides us with lumber every three turns. Yes. Just build for the sake of building. That's how you play these games, right? Hmm. If I put down a couple of blue houses, if I have a couple of blue houses, I would get... No, I only have one more. I could get another accuracy bonus if I had two. So... These things will add a little tiny bit to my deploy power. Providing money, providing earth, clay, wood. Let's go with clay. Oh, more space. Brown magic string. Oh, we could could put down the cage that allows us to capture 20 more monsters. Hell, why not? Now we've got a cage. And speaking of monsters, I never came and worked these guys up after that big fight. Ah, uh, two star common beasts. Three star common beasts. Damn, it seems like such a waste. But we can always get more. Ah, oh, now we can't do anything with Ramrin. She had three different things that would have helped her for. Ah, oh, well. Well, now that we can hold 40 monsters at a time, this doesn't seem like it's filling up half of our space. So, we'll say this is good for the moment. So... Now, Dito's... Dito's... Shop can be accessed from straight in the castle. Oh, did I point out... When we made that heat conductive pipe, it opened up another map in our dungeon. Let's take a look. Nothing special here. Probably get to have get pretty good stone from this next one. It gives stone and high quality stone. Otherwise it doesn't seem too special. The new enemy. Oh, the Ruta Harpio is a new enemy as well. In any case. I'm going to call it a day, and I will see you tomorrow, YouTube.